Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Empathic Times. There's been a lot of major news going on this week, and I know that both Cornell West and RFK Jr. have had some pretty astonishing views when it comes to the situation happening right now in Palestine. All of the events that have transpired in the last two days were something that I was not prepared for in preparing this video, but I will be having a video coming out soon discussing what is happening in Palestine. But for now, what I wanted to focus on for this week's video was looking at both Cornell West and RFK Jr.'s run for the president because there's been a lot of major news for both of them. And that news has been that both of them have announced that they are defecting from the Green Party and Democratic Party respectively to pursue the independent path to the presidency. This is really big news, mostly because of the fact that for now, this looks like the largest shakeup and appealing to the actual interests of what voters are looking for in recent history. Americans have been begging for a shakeup in the electoral process, with recent Gallup polls detailing that 63% of U.S. adults agree with this statement. Republican and Democratic parties do such a poor job of representing the American people that a third major party is needed. This is the highest this number has been since Gallup first asked this question in 2003, with a 7% increase from just last year. Additionally, 75% of independents favor a third party, and this year in particular, more Republicans are in support of a third party, with 58% showing support, up from 45% just a year ago. This is a major shift in a positive direction, in my opinion. The big question though, is this the way or is this the illusion of choice? Is any of this going to work? History has not been kind to independents, specifically the Green Party, who has been met with such ire and contempt from the Democratic establishment that has made many concerted efforts, some successful, in removing or obstructing the Green Party from having ballot access, which isn't very pro-democracy. Republicans, on the other other hand haven't been as aggressive towards the Green Party, mostly because they know it's a game, it siphons votes from Democrats, which then helps their own candidates. Neither party has a sparkling past when it comes to third parties because as it stands now, not having a third party is what is keeping the status quo going, which benefits both Republicans and Democrats. Which is why this shakeup between RFK Jr. and Cornell West is so significant. It's appealing the most to the citizenry and what they are basically asking for. But therein lies the problem. It's appealing, yes, but we get this every election cycle. Biden made promises that he has not kept. <laughs> $2,000 checks is just one of many broken promises. Trump was the same way, saying that he would drain the swamp, but still hired and appointed super swampy people. Obama was a major disappointment in regards to health care, taking us from two wars to seven and a whole lot more. I could go on, but I think you get my point. The issue we are now approaching is what are RFK Jr. and West going to do as we get closer to the election? The Dem establishment is likely going to start pulling out everything from the obstruct democracy playbook that they can because they won't be able to allow this to stand. Republicans, I'm not too sure, but I have a feeling that they are hoping this will guarantee them a win. Which, honestly, I have a feeling will be the end result. I don't see either RFK Jr. or West making it all the way to the presidency. If not obstructed, blackballed, or something else, if they are able to make it far, I see their candidacies at the least making Democrats have an oh-shit cognitive dissonance moment, which in my opinion, they heartily deserve. The Democratic establishment has taken voters for granted, grandstanding on issues that are paramount to the liberal Democratic view, but rarely, if ever, delivering on those promises. And that is my biggest fear with both RFK Jr., and Cornell West. They are both saying a lot of the right things, appealing to their respective bases, and at the least, shaking things up. But just like 2020, what are they going to do when they get the inevitable call from the establishment telling them to back down? Will they carry on? Or will they bow in hopes of receiving empty promises of cabinet appointments? Will they Bernie their own bases? Will they back out like so many before them have? My fear is that they will. That they'll bow to the establishment, tell their bases to vote for insert establishment candidate here, and leave their bases askew, just like Bernie did. Twice. I hope I'm wrong. I hope this will lead to a brighter future of voting for the American people that deserve a lot 
more than we have gotten for decades. It's time that politicians live up to the words they speak and do the things they say they are going to do. At the end of the day, they work for us. So we deserve the right to keep them in check. And democracy, true democracy, looks like choices. It looks like bringing the best people and ideas forward and letting the people decide. For now, we shall have to wait and see. What do you think is going to happen? Are you excited for this shakeup? Do you think that this is just the illusion of choice? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. Stay safe, take care, and be kind to each other.